It's better to debate a question without settling it than to settle a question without debating it. The JCRC Diplomacy Summit 2023, an offline model UN conference organized by the JCRC University, is a flagship event that JU organizes every year, where students around the country come together to debate and solve the major issues which the world is facing these days. Hello listeners, welcome to JCRC 90.8 FM and I am Ria Chobe. On the 21st and 22nd of April, JCRC hosted JDS 5th edition in which 250 delegates from around the country participated and debated on the major issues the world is facing. This summit became possible in the presence of Victor Gambhir Sir, Dean Academic Professor Vivekanand, Dean of Humanities and Social Science, Dr. N.D. Mathur. So, let's know more about the JCRC Diplomacy Summit 2023 now. And for the same, we have with us Anju Gupta Ma'am Achodi of Political Science at JCRC University. Not only this, she was the Faculty Coordinator of the JCRC Diplomacy Summit 2023. Welcome, dear ma'am, to JCRC 90.8 FM. Hello, Ria. Thank you so much for inviting me, uh, for giving a brief about the JCRC Diplomacy Summit, was, which was conducted on 21st and 22nd of April. Uh, this was one of the uh, biggest summit uh, till now. This was the fifth edition of JCRC Diplomacy Summit. And since I was the teacher coordinator, so I saw students, um, you know, burning their oil day and night for two months, and especially Hirsch, Muskan, Monisha, Amok. You know, these students were in the court committee and they really worked hard. So on the first day, uh, we, uh, when we, it was the inaugural day, and uh, we invited Professor Daryav Singh Chudavaji. So he is the uh, vice chairman of the State Higher Education Council, government of uh, Rajasthan, Jaipur. So he encouraged the students to participate in such uh, deliberations and to participate in such uh, MUNs and such type of competitions. The most important thing which he highlighted in his inaugural speech was uh, about the structure of the national education policy because you know the education is uh, changing the pattern which we're following for last uh, so many years uh, in fact so many decades so it is changing so he highlighted the students about the new education policy and um, the students were really benefited uh, from his speech and, and uh, he also felicitated our EBs of the summit um, in the later evening, when the students, uh, after their deliberations, after their lot of brainstorming, so we thought of uh, keeping a good social event for them. So uh, we organized a DJ night by Weber, and he's very popular amongst the youngsters. So the students were really thrilled, and the feedback which we got from them was that they thoroughly enjoyed that night, and it was it was really good because since I was there, so I saw students completely banged up with the music. And so um, they even told me that, uh, personally, they told me that they never experienced such a gala night and, you know, wherever such type of summits were held. In the uh, next day, again, there were committees, deliberations of the committees, a lot of simulations. Uh, but in the validatory session, we had... Uh, our uh, Vice Chancellor, Sir uh, Professor Victor Gambhir, as uh, you know, he being the mentor and the host, and unfortunately, Bhiman Sir couldn't turn up because he had lot of uh, lot of other uh, engagements as well. But his blessings were always there, and he uh, informed us, and he was in constant touch with us. So uh, Victor Sir, uh, basically, he was there to felicitate the students and all the uh, prizes were distributed by Victor Sir, uh, Professor N.D. Mathur. He was the, he's the Dean of the Humanities and Social Sciences and Professor uh, Vivekanand. He is Dean Academics. So uh, that way the whole ceremony concluded and um, I think uh, that was the best experience I ever had 
you know, getting so much of love and affection from the students who came all across the country. Like we had around 250 students coming from um, India. And I think uh, this number would uh, probably exceed in the next summit, in the next edition, um, as I think so. Because the schools here in JCRC, they are very much laborious. And uh, I think their hospitality is superb. So I wish uh, the next JDS uh, a very, you know, my best wishes and my blessings with them. Whosoever is going to help uh, next time, I think it is going to be again a gala event. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for showing your presence. We also have student coordinator of JCRC Diplomacy Summit 2023 with us. Welcome, Harsh. Harsh Tiwari is a second year political science student at JCRC University. He participated as well as hosted around 60 events and trained around 1000 plus students about MUN, youth parliament and issues related to the world. Harsh, I would like to ask you about the committees which we had in this summit. So, hello listeners, uh, like we had the simulations of following committees, we had almost six committees in JDS. The first committee was UNHRC, which stands for Human Rights Council. So, as we know that in this world era where we are struggling with human rights in some parts where human rights are a basic necessity of the people, but in some areas of the world we are lacking behind. So, our agenda was related to the human rights for uh, the human rights was the discussion on human rights of women and children in Afghanistan. As we know, Afghanistan is facing a huge human humanitarian crisis as well as human rights, the lack of human rights. So our agenda was all related to human rights in the Afghanistan. The second committee was United Nations Environment Program, which stands for all, which shows all agendas and all problems related to environment. So, as we know that we are facing a huge environment issues around the world, the global change, the climate change. So, our agenda was all related to that. As in our agenda was uh, Arctic oil drilling from further pollution to increased air and sea temperatures to the endangerment of uh, marine wildlife. We know that marine life is being... Uh, going far we uh, the animals the marine animals are extinct are, are about to extend so our agenda for the environment program was all related to that the third committee was the best and was the most important committee of united nation which is security council as we know that we are we have talked about human rights but the next thing which comes after human rights is security is the security of people is the security of the citizens of the country so our agenda for the UNSC was role of peacekeeping forces in the countries where the peace and uh, the harmony of the people are very, very less in ratio. The fourth committee is the very important committee and is an Indian committee which we introduced for the first time in the MUN which was Lok Sabha. As we know our Lok Sabha consists of 545 members and it's an Indian committee. So in this committee, the people of uh, the parliamentarians, the ones who are politicians, the ones who are the a member of Lok Sabha, come together and debate on the issues which is related to our country, our own country, India. The, uh, the uh, problems like election reforms and election campaign financing was the major topic which we issued or which we put on this committee so that the delegates around the country come together and debate on these topics with reference to Indian politi political system. The fifth committee was a special committee which stands for Special All India Political Parties Meet. The difference between AIPPM and Lok Sabha committee is just in Lok Sabha we have only the portfolios of politicians whereas in AIPPM committee we had the, pol uh, the portfolios of news reporters, news analysts, and the person who are much more interested in politics, but they are from different background. So for this committee, we had the agenda of prevalence of narco-trafficking in India with respect to laws and attracting Indian youth. 
as we know the narcotics or the drugs are a major issues which we are facing in indian youths these days the indian youths are or the other youths of the country are so much indulged with drugs or other uh, unnecessary forms which are related to the narco so to prohibit that to stop that to make measures to control that we have introduced this committee so that the delegates around the country come together and debate on the major issues which are related to narcotics in our own country the sixth and the last committee was very exciting committee which don't have an agenda but plays a very vital role in model uns that committee is international press as we know how press plays an important role by letting people what is happening today also we are uh, doing the same thing we are uh, speaking about our event on our on radio show so to pl- provide the platform to those students to those school students or those college students we had three criteria for international press the first one was reporter in this come in this uh, point the delegates who have opted for reporting has to report all the committees has to prepare the press releases from all the committees so that a formal press release can come uh, can be showed in the in the last of the mun in the closing ceremony of the mun the fe- second one was photography which uh, differs or which only stands for the photographs or the pictures we can capture in these committees the third one was caricaturist uh, the cartoonist who can make the cartoons of those committees and funny memes or things related to caricaturist so that's all about the current committees we had almost six committees we had a very healthy debate on these topics and at last i can say that uh, we did a very good job great job by providing these topics to the all delhi to all the delegates so that they can learn how these days the world is facing these major issues how they can solve the issues and how they can play their uh, role by making the world better place to live harsh another question is that please let us know about the moments which are literally you know unveiled like the backstage stories and the memories you have made during uh, this summit so the backstage stories are so many uh, i'll highlight few stories with you the first one was we faced a lot a lot of stress when we when it was coming to the delegates as as i can say that in jaipur the mun circuit is a, is quite vast but uh like the students had to get uh, knowledge about the mun because new students are coming the old students have like stopped doing mun uh, like if i talk about myself i did almost 50 to 53 muns as an delegate and as an executive board member so like i did 53 mun so ab meri ye mentality hai ke like uh, i'll stop it i'll stop doing it so many students had stopped doing it so we had to encourage them we had to educate them so by educating uh, we covered almost 20 to 25 schools of jaipur we organized training sessions in those schools we visited those schools we planned we made ppts we made almost every possible materials to show them how mun works and i can gladly say this made a very huge impact on the students and many students got attracted by it and they learned how mun works how mun like how mun works and how how mun gives them the opportunity to present themselves to like to modify their public speaking skills if i can say in it in a one word in one word so we did a op- absolute job by pulling the delegates the second one is our team was also not that much you know uh, educated about the mun so we planned uh, like a uh, training session for them to we trained them we trained them how to organize a event we trained them how to pull the delegates uh, we trained them how to do the marketing thing so they learned a lot they are from the different streams of uh, from our college some are from law some are from humanity some are from bgmc so they they like learned a lot from us 
So these are the like backstage stories which uh, we haven't shared with anyone. One more story is like our chief patron Dhiman sir supported us a lot. Like on very short notices he did every possible thing for us for providing the materials for JDS, providing the basic necessities. He did commendable job by providing us everything. So a huge thanks to Dhiman sir boy like for doing every possible thing for us on a very short notice. So these three stories are some back stories which I relate a lot with MUN and these were the challenges we faced. There were so many fun moments of us. We enjoyed, we sit in on the different places of the university. We enjoyed, we ate, we repeated the uh, things. We worked a lot. Like our meetings were like gone through almost 1 a.m. in the night, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the night. Uh, our teacher also supported us. Our teacher, um, talk coordinator Anju ma'am, supported us in every possible way. She did commendable job. She was like always ready to help us. Uh, she provided us the same thing which uh, the have provided. They both like provided us the platform to uh, represent our college in different schools represent those students uh, on the different committees. So a huge thanks to both of them for doing every possible thing for us. So these were the stories which I enjoyed, which we faced. These were the small problems which came and like, yeah, at the end, we made it a possible event. Such summits as well as events makes us learn a lot and also make us strong enough to tackle challenges in various fields. So that's all about JCRC Diplomacy Summit 2023 and we'll come up with another edition next year. Up till then, keep listening to JCRC 90.8 FM.